We've got another Collider exclusive for you, and it pertains to some casting on an upcoming Blumhouse movie. Jeff, you know I love my horror, you know I love Blumhouse, and basically I'm going to be eagerly awaiting anything that they do next, and I think you have some information that piques my interest All on right. an upcoming project. Yes, indeed. Uh, sources have told me, multiple sources, that Amanda Seyfried is nearing a deal to join Kevin Bacon in Blumhouse's You Should Have Left, which is an adaptation of the Daniel Kelman novel. Now, this is uh, a little bit like The Shining, right? That's the first the, thing that crossed my mind right. when I read the synopsis. I mean, the log line I have is like, a, Kevin Bacon is going to star as a wealthy man with a much younger wife and a six-year-old child, and mistrust and suspicion characterize their marriage while they're in a remote location that may or may not be obeying all the physical laws of the universe. It sounds uh, like like a bit of a more supernatural or metaphysical, like with the time and space thing, with because that's not really part of The Shining. So that's maybe what differentiates this, right? I guess a little bit. I would assume that if Blumhouse is taking this on, there is enough. And, you know, uh, for all I know, I could just go read the book and find out there's something completely different about it. And who knows, maybe I actually will, because I do like reading all this stuff. But if Blumhouse is involved in it, I would like to think that there's some sort of spark to this story that will steer it clear of the Shining comparisons and also actually offer something to say, because that seems to be the kinds of films they're making lately. Um, I'm just encouraged by the fact that David Kep is the one writing and directing this, uh, Kevin Bacon producing with Jason Blum. Um, but let's talk about Amanda Seyfried. Uh, you know, the last few movies haven't been great. She's kind of been on a, a downward swing, with the exception of First Reformed, which is mm -hmm. an acclaimed drama that she's in with Ethan Hawke right now, and I encourage everybody to go see that. But this is kind of like the first cool movie that she's done in a while. Don't yeah, you kind of think? I do think. I don't necessarily think that has anything to do with her acting ability, though, because whether a movie no. is really good or not, I have never seen a single Amanda Seyfried performance where I said, she's not good in that. Normally, it's the movie around her. I I've always liked her. I've always liked her. Um, yeah. You know, and it's just stuff like Gringo, Anon, The Clapper. It's like, you know, what is this stuff? So, I so I'm glad that she's found uh, a Blumhouse movie that has the potential to break out. I guess I give her a little credit, though, with filling her resume with diverse opportunities and very different types of films. And I guess that is the risk you run. But she does have some gems on there. We were talking about While We're Young. I love that movie, and I love her in that movie. And I even think she was pretty good in Love Lady even though that wasn't my favorite movie I ever. Love, no, and, she was good in that. And she's fantastic in Les Mis. I've been a fan of her since Big Love, uh, so I'm, I'm happy for her. I hope that this deal works out. Uh, at first, when someone said, like, oh, man, to see if he's going to play Kevin Bacon's wife in a movie, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> that doesn't, you know, that doesn't make any sense. But uh, it is fitting. It fits with the plot. Uh, Amanda Seyfried has a couple movies coming up. She's got uh, the Mamma Mia sequel, mm -hmm. which I think is I think is going to su surprise people. I think it's, it's going to be a hit anyways. I like the sound of that. Um, and she's also doing The Art of Racing in the Rain with uh, Milo Ventimiglia. All right. This is us. She's represented over at Innovative Artists. And, uh, and yeah, that's that's what we got. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping this pans out. I can't wait to see what this film turns out to be. And if I happen to read the book, I'll let you know it and I'll let you guys is, know. You, sh you should have left. It sounds like Get Out, right? You should have left. That's, get out. Is that, that not the perfect sequel title there you for go. Get Out? It's now now, now it's right, off the yeah, table. Now we're giving everybody our good ideas. Thank you for watching this news video. Hit the comment section below and share your thoughts on this casting right there. As always, like and share. And stay tuned to the Collider Video YouTube channel because we will have more exclusive stories coming your way.